Welcome and thank you for your interest in OptiPlant. In this video we will go through a brief demonstration of how the OptiRouter for Hexagon SmartPlant 3D or S3D provides users a way to auto route 3D interference free pipes within a S3D model. This is the S3D default test model. First we will process the selected equipment and structures by selecting the equipment and structure listed in the Workspace Explorer. Go to the OptiPlant router tab and highlight process model and select generate OptiPlant environment. This function will generate files that are needed by the auto router to understand the equipment and structure rules and to calculate interference. Now go back to OptiPlant router, highlight input and select line list, then select nozzles. After the window opens up, you will then select the line list file that contains the lines you are wanting to auto route. This line list can be created manually by the user in this template or in Excel and imported in, or you can extract this data from SmartPlant PNID. Lots of options and flexibility to get the data. In the line list, you can see that you can auto route headers as battery to battery lines. You can automatically route branch lines. For equipment, OptiRouter will read the nozzle data for each equipment, which is the start type and is read from an equipment list. It will auto route to the nozzle. Users are able to assign custom rules to the auto route process. Here you see the custom rules window open and users are able to modify the rules associated to any equipment item that is present in the model. Users can change the rules on how pumps and air coolers are configured. Users also can set branches to either up or down. This option gives users the ability to get specific routing configurations to match project requirements. Next step is to update the routing configuration. Here you will select the correct line list file to be routed and also to make sure that the correct batch file is selected before running your batch. Now we will run the batch. You will then see the routing progress box open and give you a status of the lines being auto routed. After the batch is complete, you will see an error report generated. Here it will list the total number of lines that have been routed and also list the lines that were not able to be routed. Once the routing process is complete, the auto routed pipes are now part of the S3D database and hierarchy and these lines can be modified in S3D. Next, you will need to load the pipes in S3D. To accomplish this, you will need a PDS translator license to load the pipe into S3D. Once pipes are loaded, they are now native S3D pipes. OptiRouter is used to get the center line of pipes, and once this is done, users are now able to utilize the data directly in S3D. Here, you can see that the tag, spec, and size data have come in correctly for the lines that have been auto-routed. Now, users have the ability to make changes to this data, such as adding components directly in S3D. This is a user-friendly method to auto-route pipe directly in S3D. Thank you.